Hello, and welcome to my office slash desk area. Now, this is actually a room in my place that I converted from a bedroom to this office, hopefully to make me a bit more productive and take fewer naps. This is still a work in progress, but first let me show you around. And this right here is my beloved desk. I got it back in 2011, back when I was an awkward sophomore in high school. So this has been with me through all the failed exams, all the all-nighters, college apps, and uh, whatever I'm doing now. And besides the constant reminder of my shortcomings in high school, there's nothing special about this desk. It has no bells and whistles except for this drawer, which we shouldn't look at. And while I am a sucker for nostalgia, this desk has seen better days, so it might be time for an upgrade. Atop my desk sits this 34-inch LG monitor, which I've had for a little over a year. Now, this was handed down to me by my parents, um... Must be all my friends. While the upgrade to an ultra-wide monitor certainly was not necessary, it does make it a lot easier to edit my videos. At least, that's what I like to tell myself. Now, I could jazz this up with a monitor stand or some type of wall mount situation, but I don't really want to invest any more money or time than I need to. And unless I want to pull a Joey with a power drill, I should just leave this as it is. And the powerhouse behind the setup is my 13-inch MacBook Pro. Now, since my video on this a few months ago, a couple people did ask me whether I regret choosing this over the M1 MacBook Pro. Well, let's just say I missed the return window. But to be fair, this is a massive upgrade over my last computer. It's really powerful with 16 gigs of RAM and a ton more storage. So hopefully it will last me a very long time. Just to take extra special care of this laptop, we've got this laptop stand, the M stand. This is another relic from my school days, but I got to say this has lasted really well. It's one of those investments that I didn't think I needed until I started using it. And it mostly helps me prevent eye strain and back pain from looking back and forth between both screens. Now, perhaps my favorite item on my desk is this keyboard. While I never imagined myself to be a mechanical keyboard type of gal, I just couldn't escape the beauty of this keyboard. I love the dose of color it adds to my desk, the little sea creatures that distract me from work, and the pleasant, ever so subtle clicks of the keyboard that my roommates just love. Besides that is this little $20 Red Dragon gaming mouse. Now, I am not a gamer at all, but I wanted to find a relatively inexpensive mouse that was a little more unique than the standard. While this isn't perfect, it gets the job done and kind of matches my desk setup. And the final piece of tech on my desk are these Audio-Technica headphones. And I had a similar pair to these for nearly six years since freshman year of college, which have now found a loving home with my parents. But these are great for when I want to appear really busy, or just to secretly listen to K-pop or trashy Telugu songs while working. While the setup is rather simple and isn't fully optimal, I've been slowly improving it over the past two years to work for me and the type of work that I do. In fact, I used this very setup in the early days of my channel when I used to make coding projects nearly every single week. And while I don't program much anymore, when I do get back into it, I'll be using DataCamp, which happens to be the lovely sponsor of today's video. DataCamp is an online learning community that offers a combination of interactive video classes, practice exercises, and even full project guides in Python, SQL, R, and many more. Their bite-sized lessons allow you to learn in a way that fits your schedule, whether you're at your desk or on the go. 
and with more than 350 hands-on courses, from intro to Python to financial modeling, and even a full-fledged career hub to help you land that dream job, DataCamp really has it all. You can get unlimited access to all of their courses, including specialized career tracks, starting at only $25 a month. So if you want to invest in yourself and build new skills, be sure to use my link in the description and check out the first chapter of any DataCamp course for free. And thank you again, DataCamp, for supporting my channel. Now let's get to the rest of my setup. Well, I guess we can start with this chair. Okay, this chair just kinda sucks. Since I've been using it for two years, I've grown used to its flaws, like these bulky armrests that I can't remove, or the fact that I'm constantly bumping into my desk, or that it's way too pillowy to resist a quick afternoon nap. And then we've got this chair pad, which I have a love-hate relationship with. I love that I can swivel around my office like a boss lady, but I hate that I'm always sliding or slipping around when I don't want to. Okay, let's talk desk accessories. I've got this mouse pad, which was honestly just the first result on Amazon. I've also got a variety of dongles, cables, and cords for my laptop. And we've got this charging stand, which theoretically should help me keep my phone away during work. But it also makes a great YouTube watching stand, so it is what it is. I also use this little steel container for all my spicy snacks and this coaster for my coffees and teas and water. And finally, we've got this $12 desk light. But somehow, even though I'm 24 years old, I'm still scared of the dark. So this doesn't get much use. Now, you might be wondering, where is all your stuff? Don't worry, I'm not a minimalist. I've got everything hiding just behind these closet doors. Here it is. So this YouTube essential shelf is home to all my chargers, spare hard drives, and recording equipment. It also stores my paper notebook and iPad. And this is the 12.9 inch second generation iPad Pro. Now this crashes way more than I'd like, but I only use a handful of apps, so it's fine. And to accompany my aging iPad is this first gen Apple Pencil. Now, I was one of those people who would snicker at this $100 piece of plastic. But I do admit, this pencil has added so much value to my iPad, making it possible for me to use apps like Notability and Procreate to their fullest. So it was definitely worth it. And besides that is the inevitable junk shelf. And I don't even want to start thinking about organizing this thing. I mean, we've got a jumble of dongles, a humidifier, keyboard, old mail, my bullet journal from college, back when I wanted to work for Facebook, and what seems to be my life savings. Now, when I'm not busy editing or filming or theoretically coding, I like to spend a lot of time on this half of my office room, which is the chill zone. This is where I really went ham with my interior design skills. I think the stars of the show are Yogi's ripped up toys, this broken curtain rod, and last weekend's cup of coffee. And here we've got Yogi's trusty bed, which he, and sometimes I, love to nap on during the day. I've also got this little toy basket for Yogi. However, since he has such a refined taste in toys, he doesn't play with most of these, so this basket is really just for the aesthetic. And finally, I've got this, what I like to call the boss lady chair. And yeah, this actually is not that comfortable. I think I imagine sitting here to hang out with my friends, but yeah, it makes a good sweater holder. And yeah, that is my desk slash office setup. Now, I've been putting off this video for more than a year now. I think because I was nervous that my desk wasn't nearly as professional or high tech or minimal enough compared to all the other ones I saw on YouTube. But that's kind of the point of this video. You don't need to invest a thousand dollars into a desk setup just to get started. A lot of these pieces are things I collected over the past, what, 10 years? 
and even though they don't all match and I guess there are things I could improve about the setup, it works for me the vast majority of the time. So yeah, if you're interested in any of the items I shared today, I'll link them all down below in the description. That being said, feel free to roast my setup down below in the comments. And yeah, besides that, if you like this video, please give it a big like and subscribe. Follow me on social media if you want to. Thank you again Data Camp for sponsoring this video and I'll see you in the next one. You're so cute. What? This is a desk setup video? Oh, okay, let's go. Now, if we move on to the plastic. Oh, 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 oh.